Hi, I'm Clayton Picard, reporting for Kids First, and today I'll be reviewing Wonderstruck. Wonderstruck is a shining gem in this cinematic cabinet of wonders. The film is based on the book by Brian Selznick, the same author who wrote Hugo Cabret. Directed by Tom Haynes, the film envelops you in its beautifully detailed vision of New York. The movie stars Oakes Fegley, Julianne Moore, and Michelle Williams. I love this film because it combines the artistic style of old black and white silent films with the more modern color palette of today's films. Wonderstruck tells two simultaneous stories that do have a connection. One story concerns a 12-year-old boy Ben in the 1970s. After losing his mom, he decides to run away and look for his father in the big city. When he arrives in the Big Apple, he makes a friend, Jamie, who takes him to the American Museum of Natural History. The other story is about Rose, a young girl in the late 1920s. This part of the movie is in black and white, as befits the time period. Rose is a quiet, shy, deaf girl who is neglected by her parents, but loved by her brother, who works at the Museum of Natural History. Wonderstruck reminds me of the films Hugo and The Night at the Museum because of the attention to historical detail. I also enjoyed how the film kept changing from a silent black and white film to a talky color film. Each time the period shifts, the music changes as well. The film has many textures, such as the gritty reality of New York City in the 70s, plus all the curiosities in the museum and even the paper cityscapes that Rose creates. The crux of the film is the director's fascination with the old Cabinet of Wonders and how they were the first museums. The film itself is a Cabinet of Wonders, revealing many treasures in its story. My favorite scene is when Ben and Jamie explore the secret rooms in the museum. Because Wonderstruck is so sophisticated, I don't think it's for every taste. I would consider it a fascinating art house family film. I give Wonderstruck four out of five stars for its creativeness of combining two different artistic styles. I recommend it for ages 12 to 18. This is Clayton Picard reporting for Kids First.